thanks for coming to the June edition of the Mass Bike Update. Every month we're trying to do some sort of update as to what's going on in the organization. Sometimes it's timely um, with an event, sometimes it's advocacy related. Uh, we're also, I'm just gonna throw a pitch out here, we're encouraging um, you know, feedback as to what you want to cover. Um, this is the first one that we are recording because we think that there's gonna be a lot of good discussion about what uh, Bike Month brainstorming is gonna be. We wanna be able to share that for those who can't join us. But we're um, looking at the last Monday of every month um, on the, I think it's fourth Monday of every month. Either way, one of those ones um, at lunchtime. Um, so hopefully that, that works out for your schedule. But uh, we're always here for you at Mass Bike to kind of receive feedback and you can always touch base with us. Um, last month we talked about rail trails because um, everybody was very interested in what the openings of the rail trails will be this year. So little things like that, if you want to know, um, if you have little quirky questions that Mass Bike might have some good knowledge to share. And we're also looking to have um, some featured presenters as well. Um, today's talk is going to be about Bike Month because Bike Month is coming up in September. Um, bike Month used to be May, if you all recall, and National Bike Month is May. But uh, starting last year, we switched it to September because May was a total crapshoot. Um, and we liked September, so we're going to maintain it again this year because we think there's better weather. Uh, people are generally more keyed into biking at that point, um, not to take people away from riding in May, but we're thinking that September is a generally beneficial month. But that's a long-winded way of saying that at Mass Bike, we get to kind of make it up. So I'm also encouraged to get your feedback today. So um, I'm here to encourage you to say, hey, the chat is here for you. You can always email us um, at bikeinfo at, bike month dot, uh, at, at massbike.org. You can check out our web pages. Um, and the goal for us is to get a robust encouragement month going. Um, today's talk is going to be not a lot of slides. We only have about nine slides to share, um, maybe, maybe 10 slides. Um, one of those slides is going to be facilitating feedback from you. So please feel free to chime in and be encouraged. Um, probably via the chat for the first one, which will be what is a tagline for Bike Month that you'd like us to consider? Because we haven't themed Bike Month yet this year. So that's something that we're going to throw at you. And then at the end, um, anything that you'd like to share of uh, your aspirations, your vision for what Bike Month could be at the end of our presentation so that we're all um, kind of brainstorming and percolating around. We can't run Bike Month alone. In fact, Mass Bike can barely touch part of the state or scratch the surface of Bike Month. So our goal is to be the collector, the networker, the facilitator, and the resources to allow you to make Bike Month awesome for you. So that's kind of the preface of where we're going with this. And with that, I will start my presentation. Um, if I can figure out how to screen share. Cool. Um, give me a quick thumbs up if you can see my Google Slides. Great. And let's see if I can make this in present mode. Um, quick thumbs up if you can see my Google Slides again. Nice. OK, cool. I'll also encourage you, uh, there's reactions at the bottom of the Zoom if you want to raise your hand. You're more than welcome to. And I will stop talking. And feel free to unmute yourself as well if you just want to chime in. A little bit of housekeeping. Um, so great. I'm going to barrel through. Jess is going to barrel through. Crystal's going to barrel through. We're going to present. But again, this is where you need to chime in, um, we want you to. So this is our bike month, um, how to bike month edition of our June update, which I didn't do. I'd like to preface all of these updates with a little bit of a value um, grounding for Mass Bike. Um, this is just the high level touch points about where Mass Bike kind of centers itself. Full disclosure, we are currently rewriting our vision and mission statement. So we actually haven't boiled this down quite into an elevator pitch. But I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page is that one of the things we have to focus on statewide is that we have a lot of different types of riders and Mass Bike's job is to try to impact as many, in fact, all of them with our work. Um, so it really does mean to focus on places that have resources and places that don't have resources um, and really kind of make sure that we are um, kind of solving some of the problems that are somewhat systemic in our transportation network and our safety systems that are out there. Um, and especially this past year, um, the conversations that we've been having that laid bare that we really do need to focus first with the inequities that are out there and race and racism that's out there. So just have that running in the back of your mind when you think about bike month events. Who are you going to serve with your bike month event? That's one of the big questions here. 
Uh, Mass Pike as a statewide organization generally keeps that 35,000 foot view, which means we focus on policies, on funding, on legislation, on priorities that um, affect all bikers. Um, but it is kind of tricky. And I do like to say, and you've probably heard me say this dozens of times at this point, that all biking is local. And what you really care about is your backyard, your neighborhood, your bike lane, your pathway, which is great. And I want you to keep focusing on your local pathway. However, Mass Bike's role is not necessarily to fight for that one intersection alone or independently. It's to build the policies, the procedures, and support you in your own local battle. As you see, we're a team of four. We have a huge state to cover. So our goal is to make sure that your local impact matters. Um, we like to be that sinew, that connective tissue between the grassroots and the officials and kind of fill that space. Um, and then we do like to focus on the ease of bike advocacy. Um, there's education, there's engineering, there's encouragement, there's evaluation, and there's also enforcement. We're not gonna dive too deep into those, but one of the things that I wanna point out specifically for Bike Month is the big encouragement E. Bike Month is the encouragement. Now we can do education programs, we can focus on engineering projects, we can do bike counts for evaluation, um, but really this month is to get people excited about Bike Month. And so this is why we are super happy to be able to have you today and to think about what can we do to encourage riders, maybe new riders, maybe old riders, encourage a community. This is why we make a Bike Month is so we have a reason to do our work. People are like, oh, I'd love to do an event. Well, let's do it at Bike Month. And then there's a ways of reaching folks who might not already be connected to the other E's because we're encouraging engagement. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna pass off real quick to um, Jess to talk a little bit about the monthly bike challenges and how they've been going so far. Yeah, so our monthly bike challenges have been really awesome so far. Uh, right now in June, we're doing bike to parks. Um, and we've gotten some really awesome submissions. If you haven't biked to a park this month and emailed it into us or tagged us on social media at Mass Bike on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you definitely should. Um, I know some of you have. Uh, on this slide, you can see our friend Amy's submission. Hers is by far the most picturesque photo. So if you can get a better, more picturesque photo, um, that's my challenge to you by Wednesday to bike to a park that's more beautiful and get that photo to me. Um, anyone who submits is entered to win an Eno hammock. Um, REI donated a great prize, so huge thanks to REI on that one. Um, and then for our upcoming challenges, we're doing biking independence. Um, we're also asking people to share stories next month as well, but this time sharing about how their bikes bring them independence. August, we're gonna bike for a better world and highlight um, some ways that we can make change um, for bicycling and also support um, other nonprofits that are fundraising. There's a lot of um, bike charity events that we want to highlight in August. And then obviously September is what we're all here to talk about today with Base Day Bike Month. Um, these monthly challenges were a little bit of an experiment, but we're going to keep them rolling um, because every month should be bike month, um, really in our eyes. So getting these themes out there is just a way to keep people encouraged. And also, um, if any of you know places that might want to give us monthly prizes, we love to uh, get that encouragement e going with a little incentive uh, that way. So those are our monthly challenges. Awesome. Thanks, Jess. Um, so basically Bike Month as a whole is we're kind of leading up to it. Um, and again, you know, we started with, um, you know, May and June, July and August, and then leading up to it, the goal is to get riding to bring everyone together as much as possible. Um, Bay State Bike Month is kind of a hodgepodge and we're kind of throwing a lot of spaghetti at the wall for Bike Month here. Um, there's a lot of ways to engage and this is just the ones that we've come up with and this is by no means the exhaustive list. But what we are building is baystatebikemonth.org. Now I'll take two steps back for those of you who are familiar with Bike Month as it's been in the past. Um, the history of Bike Month is that 
Bay State Bike Month actually started under uh, the Mass Rides program under Mass DOT as a way to get uh, promotional activities riding uh, uh, for people to get out and um, build bike breakfasts. Um, it was for employers to encourage biking to work. Um, and it was just kind of the month and usually was done in May. And the reason it was done in May prior was because the League of American Bicyclists runs their national bike month in May. Now, was for several years, it was being run under the DOT's Mass Rides program. And then also there was the Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge, where people could basically track their rides, track their miles, and compete for prizes for the most miles, for the most rides, for the most uh, weight carried via cargo trailer, whatever the the significant filter would be for the prizes. And the Mass Commute Bike Challenge um, was a way for your employers and municipalities to kind of build teams to compete against each other. So you can imagine that there was a biogen that would have employees riding and tracking their mileage during bike week. And then they would compete against the vertexes of the world. And it was friendly competition and we would basically give out prizes and congratulate people, big slaps on the back. And the idea there, again, was encouraging riding, mostly riding to work, but really it was just whatever we can do to get out and ride. Um, now, Bike Month is still around. Mass Bike has kind of taken the role um, and the Mass New Bike Challenge is still around as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But just so you know, there's kind of two major components to it. There's the challenge of tracking your rides and then there's the encouragement of getting out and hosting an event or doing really anything bikey. And they're both going to be promoted and kept under the baystatebikemonth.org. However, the bicycling challenge itself is so complex, there's also kind of a little subset around just tracking your rides. And again, we'll talk about that in a second. So what we're doing with baystatebikemonth.org, and you can go check it out. We've just got the basics of the page up because it's still June. We're still finalizing everything. Um, but we're going to have a calendar of events. So if you want to host an event, be it uh, learn to ride, be it a bike account. We'll talk about the events in a, in a little few slides down. We want it on our statewide calendar. So people can come to our webpage and search and find that this is the event. And you can also get inspired by saying, oh, they're doing a bike count in Fall River. We should probably do a bike count in Mattapoisett to see if the ridership is the same. Little things like that can go a long way. But really what we're finding in our work at Mass Bike is there's so much happening throughout the state and people don't really know about it. They're not really sharing it regionally or even statewide. So ideally we kind of aggregate all of those events and it's on a searchable calendar. So you can post your event and you can find your event. We're also gonna have a resources page, which um, is a little bit built off the Amer League of American Bikes list, but we're gonna have it Massachusetts specific as well. We'll talk about those in a, in a few. Um, but how to run events. We don't want you to reinvent the wheel here, but we do want you to, you know, work locally with what works locally, but we are here to help provide some of those resources. Um, and then additionally with our Bay State Bike Month, we have a way to recognize our sponsors um, because we would be nothing without the support financial and otherwise from the companies, corporations, and businesses who not just encourage their employees to ride, but who also fund the work that goes into it, including the swag. Um, and we're working out the swag, but the t-shirts, for instance, the reflective bands, the lights, the things that get handed out to riders uh, for safety and for promotion. Um, and then we're also gonna have an aggregate of some of our social media posts and our newsletter updates and our blog posts around Bay State Bike Month and the lead up to it and the stories being told around it. And we're all keeping it under the URL baystatebikemonth.org. Now, Bay State is kind of a, Maybe it's a strange term for a lot of folks that may not recognize that Massachusetts is the Bay State, especially if you are out in the hill towns. You'd be like, actually, we don't have a bay in <laughs> the Berkshires. So we hear you, we feel you. We're inheriting this branding after like literally two decades worth of Bay State Bike Week and Bay State Bike Month. There is the opportunity to change the branding in years going forward, but for now, we're at least sticking with Bay State Bike Month. But just so you know, because Mass Bike is kind of assuming the role of maintaining Bay State Bike Month. Um, we are still in the creative formation there. Cool. Um, maybe Jess, I'll pass it back to you to talk a little bit about the challenge, if that's okay. Yep. Um, so the Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge, uh, as Galen was saying, this is the ride tracking portion of Bay State Bike Month, um, working with the Transportation Management Associations. 
Um, so this is going to go Sunday to Sunday because we know not everyone works Monday through Friday. We want to make sure that we're getting all types of trips in there. Um, as Gillian mentioned before, the Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge used to be all about just biking to work, but now we're tracking all kinds of trips um, and working with the TMAs. Basically, if you or your company is part of a Transportation Management Association or one of the TMAs, they each have their own ride tracking platform. So you would go through their platform to track your trips for this week. And then for Mass Bike, if you're not part of a TMA, um, we're using our Love to Ride group that we used in some of our earlier monthly challenges to really good success. So we're really happy with that group. Um, and it's a great way to get these rides tracked for the Mass Commute Challenge. Um, and then Mass Bike is kind of going to be creating that leaderboard kind of on the back end. TMA is a Transportation Management Association um, asking in the chat. Um, but yeah, this is going to be kind of encouraging that commuting, competing with coworkers. But like I said, this year we're really expanding it so that it's any type of trip for the most part. Um, but that's kind of like the main overview of the mass commute. This is the um, big like ride ride challenge -y thing. And then the rest of the month will be other types of challenges and your events that you're all going to plan. Yep, so we fully encourage you to participate, whether you're with a company or not, doesn't really matter. Um, if you're part of a company, we can see if your company has a team, in which case you can join it. You might not even realize that you're part of a transportation management association, which is you know, very common because it might be doing backend stuff that you might not be aware of. Um, and this is like one of the highlights, the things that really get people jazzed up about bike month is the tracking. And you can see our last year stats, what we like about it, even though last year was a really hard year to convince people to bike to work, um, we were still able to, to get people to participate. We were able to track 26,000 miles, over 2,700 trips. Um, and so we get some data that really helps us as advocates as well to say, look at the participation, even on one of the worst years on record for biking to work, we still were able to hold a commuter challenge. And so props to Mass Commute, the Mass Commute team, um, which is a collection of the TMAs um, that are doing the work. Um, we partner very closely with them. They're the ones keeping this alive and they're partnering with us um, for the Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge. And I think the Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge has been around since 1997. So we have legacy here. And what I love most when I'm sometimes riding around um, is you see somebody with an, a wristband or reflective band and it says, you know, Mass Commute Bike Challenge Bike Month 2004 or something along those lines. And you're like, yes, they did it and they're still doing it. So this is, this is I think, one of the big keynotes that's out there to remind you is to, to really spread the word and get a team together. Um, question in the chat about ideas on including schools into the tracking challenge. Excellent. Very good question. Um, that's a good question. Um, a lot of it might come down to the platform itself. If the platform um, has the ability to divide out into um, schools or not schools, but I think it's also something that we could also maybe do as a survey after the fact as to what affiliation you have. And um, maybe this is something that we could follow up with after the fact, Jess, when we email everybody, what are some of the segments of teams that you would want us to try to break out? Also, I wonder if Irene, if you want to clarify, if you're asking about including like safe routes to school, like kids into it, is that your question or like higher education schools? Um, um, I, do either really. I was just thinking um, Quincy has done competitions in terms of like um, fabric drives for fundraising and if this kind of a platform could be done you know, as a competition between schools, maybe the city or, you know, an organization sponsors a, a financial award to the school that gets the most biked miles in during bike month or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, I, I was just connecting things. So that's all. No, that's great. Thank you for bringing this up. I think that's definitely something we can look into and figure out how we can get it integrated. Cause as Galen said, we're still in planning mode, so all ideas, um, we want to hear them. Yeah, 
That's awesome, Irene. Let's let's see if we can do that. Um, and it might be something that's very local. Like you might need to help organize the teams themselves and it might not be something that we could scale out to the whole state. And that's also okay. Um, what you do doesn't necessarily need to be done wholesale for, for this whole group, uh, for the whole state. Um, I'm gonna want us to ruminate a little bit on this slide. And this is where I'm gonna ask a little bit of uh, participation. So I want you to kind of stand up and stretch your brain muscles for this one. Um, last year's tagline was ride your way every day, which I thought was cute. Um, and we had a bunch of different types of bikes as our logo. Um, we were able to hire a graphic designer to help us out with this. And it was just one of our staffers who came up with the tagline. Um, we don't necessarily have a tagline yet, we're hoping to finalize it in the next week or two. We've gotten some good submissions over social media, but some of the keywords that we were kind of, you know, trying to percolate around um, are momentum, together, inclusivity, equity, multi-purpose, movement. Um, I might also throw in here like reunion because we've all been separated and apart for so long. Um, I'm gonna just, open this up feel free to unmute if you are so inclined to be extroverted or if you want to chime in on the chat and just kind of throw some brainstorm power here because i want us to explicitly say that mass bike does not have this answer and i can't see the chat so jess if there's anything that you want yeah so we just got something great in the chat from cynthia in holyoke um, asking about if a safe routes to school, walking and biking school bus could be something as a bike month event, um, cause they're looking into that in Holyoke. And I think absolutely a biking school bus can be a bike month event. That sounds like an awesome bike month event. Um, yeah, I, we would love for that to be part of the Bay State Bike Month push for sure. It's really wonderful now that bike month is in September that we really can embrace kids in schools and youth, you know, without something that didn't happen. Well, it, it could in May, but I think in September when everyone's back to school, there's that new energy and enthusiasm. Um, we have a suggestion from KJ, moving together on bikes. And then Giuseppe S put in a really cool Flickr image of be yourself on wheels, which is super cute. By Bikey Face. Cool. Um, we're also gonna send out this presentation to everybody who RSVP'd with some notes and some hyperlinks too. So um, if it's not bubbling to the surface right now, no worries. We'll have plenty of opportunities for you to chime in. Okay, um, I think I'll just move on. Is that okay? Great. But just know that this is such an open-ended question. And if we choose your tagline, you get it on the t-shirts. I should mention that we'll probably make t-shirts and everybody is going to be wearing your tagline. So it's pretty cool. Cool. Um, so what to do for bike month? Um, well, it's really whatever you want. I really like Cynthia's idea of a bike and walking school bus. Um, I don't know, Jess, do you wanna help me out on this one? Yeah. So um, as Galen said, hosting an event, it's really what you want it to be. Whatever need you might see in your community um, to get that encouragement E uh, going. Um, I think that's what we want you to be thinking about. We. Um, Noah is helping us with some awesome one pagers that we're going to be housing on the Bay State Bike Month website um, about bike breakfasts, kid rodeos, bike counts, and group rides. Um, Cause those are four of the like top things that we see people doing for their events. Um, and we want to make, as Galen said, not have you recreate the real recreate the wheel um, if there's something that um, looks interesting to you. Um, we want to help support that. Um, and once you decide what your event is going to be, um, whether it's a bike breakfast where you're flagging down commuters and giving them coffee from a local coffee shop, um, or a bike count um, 
we want you to we want to help publicize your event. Um, we have a goal of having 50 at least 50 statewide events. Um, so we need you all to help us get there and as Gillen mentioned before, we have this great calendar on the baystatebikemonth.org website. You just go to baystatebikemonth.org, register underscore and underscore event, which is <laughs> a bit of a mouthful of a URL, but I'll make sure it's posted very prominently everywhere. Um, and you can just register your event on the public calendar. Um, yeah, if anyone has ideas of events that they've done for Bike Month in the past that you want to throw in the chat, we'd love to hear that. Um, or if there are any types of resources that you would like to see us populate onto the website for you, um, we're currently building that right now. So as we are in this planning phase, like tell us what you need and we can help um, figure out how to best support you. Yeah, another thing while I'm stalling to see if anybody throws in some ideas in the chat as well. You can also unmute yourself too. Um, this is also a great way to engage your community. So posting an event is awesome to help a commuter out, but say you have a mayoral race in your city, invite the candidates to come down in September to glad hand it and meet folks at the bike breakfast. Or say you have, um, a particular bike path that just opened up. You'd really love to have a ribbon cutting, a small community event. You don't need to have the elected officials there. You should invite them. But if they don't show up, you can still say, hey, it's bike month. We should celebrate this trail. Um, or, you know, you've really been meaning to teach your neighbor how to fix their flat. This could really be an easy way to kind of get a little workshop going in your neighbor's garage. Doesn't have to be totally open to the public. Doesn't have to be totally open to everybody. But if it's anything bike related that you want to tell people about, this is the galvanizing tool of Bike Month. And this is why this is the encouragement side. If people see you doing something, they're gonna be like, hey, you know, that's a really great idea. And this is where the spark can happen. Um, and we got something great in the chat. Uh, again, to remind everyone to invite, encourage, and ask their local bike groups. So Bay State Bike Month is a great excuse to engage with all your local bike groups um, and all those community members that care about bicycling. Um, just as these example was getting the North Shore cyclist to post a special bike week intro ride. Like that would be a great event and having, um, getting those local groups because we are um, at Mass Bike, we, love that we're the coalition the massachusetts bicycle coalition and we want you to be creating those local coalitions um and bay state bike month is a great way to like really foster that coalition building for your community um yeah i, I think i am encouraging grassroots mini events giuseppe yeah that's what i'm doing here um in Fall River, Sarah is hoping to have a ribbon cutting for their recently painted and signed route connecting Heritage State Park and the, ooh, I'm not, I'm going to butcher this, Quichin River Trail? We, we just call it the Shan. Trail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. It's okay. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, and, and to be honest, this is also a good way to get the word out locally. Um, small, quick anecdote while I'm still stalling to see if we get more ideas pop up. Um, I first was introduced to Mass Bike at a Bike Valet event during Bike Month 12 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, I was out visiting my friends in Northampton and we were biking on the bike path and we heard that there was a kind of a bluegrass festival food truck, just like party that was being hosted in East Hampton. And so we took the bike path down and Mass Bike, the local chapter was there running bike valet. And the reason they were running bike valet was to encourage bikers because it was bike month. And I got to be introduced to what bike valet was on the very immediate scale. But then I also got introduced to what Mass Bike is. Fast forward 15 years, here we are. But without those little connections, without those little connective tissues, those moments where you can just find a person and inspire them, this is what Bike Month really is about. So 
um, you know, we want at MassBike to be that back end support. So you don't have to go ahead and create a calendar. We can help you with the press releases. We can do all the back end stuff to really get stuff out there. But you never know when that bike breakfast is going to lead to that being the next mayoral candidate. And then boom, you've already made those connections. Yeah, uh, Joseph, you said uh, he might try to get some of the tandem biking friends from the New England Wicked Tandem Society or the Newts to host an informational tent on the bike path or something. That sounds great. Invite me. I have a salsa powder keg. I'll come. Um, that sounds great. Galen, can I chime in on audio here? Come um, in, please. Yeah. Se September has been, or the last Saturday in September has been Bike Your Park Day, uh, according to the Adventure Cycling Association. So we here in Sandwich last year, being the exception, uh, have done that with our local state park uh, and the local mountain biking association. We're excited now that this year that that could coincide with Bike Month. Um, and my goal has been to expand that to other places on the Cape as well. Um, but that's definitely a nice tie in and a nice sort of wrap up for the month. Uh, the fact that those two things coincide now. Great. Yeah, and some other stuff we're thinking on the Cape. Um, two years ago, we were doing a bunch of light distributions on the canal with the Cape Cod Commission. We were out there handing out lights to just riders um, during bike month. Um, I love it. This is, this is the whole additive nature of what we're doing here. Thanks, Sean. Um, cool. I can turn into Sean. This is Colleen from the Cape Cod Commission. We'll definitely re coordinate with you on that. And uh, obviously, we're thinking region wide, and we'll be, be out on the bike paths for sure. Um, and but I we were even considering now, like September, our office ourselves is like a return to work hybrid. Like that conversation is going to start. So maybe something with the theme of that. Um, you know, we're, we are returning to normal. So like, uh, we're trying to get people to, you know, they're going to be commuting again to think smart and options. So uh, I'm, I'm imagining lots of bike breakfasts on at least three different trails. So um, I look forward to that conversation. Uh, I, we should also probably bring up Sarah's uh, bike bingo that we did for bike month last year or the year before. Yeah, um, and it was uh, a bingo card of all the different places to bike uh, across the region. Um, a sort of a fun way to, to get people to interact uh, and to ride. Yeah, it was even simple, like like to get ice cream. Um, just think, think, you know, take your bike instead of your car. Um, and we did a, last year because of COVID, we did a, uh, a newsletter. So I thought that, I don't know how well perceived, I, I had fun preparing it, but we did an, a bike month newsletter, a bunch of articles featuring what's been happening in all of our towns down here in our region and highlighting um, advocacy as well. Um, I'd love to see a mass bike chapter down here one day. Right now we just really have trail specific uh, groups as well as all of our local bike committees. We don't have them in every town yet, um, but. I think it'd be great to have a big, big support group down here. But so if there's any tips on how to get a mass bike chapter, love to hear that too. <laughs> cool. That, that, that might be its own month's worth of an update at some point in the future too, Colleen. But it's, it's something we are tackling holistically at the organization of how to do the regional tissues um, of, of connecting it all together. Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe we can just correct. Uh, collaborate on something just to get the word out. People may not know about it down here. And there's a, we have obviously have a big contingency of riders down here. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm really appreciative of all the work you're doing down there in the Cape too. It's um, people are really paying attention to what the commission's up to. Oh, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. oh. Anybody else before we jump on? Totally digging this. Thanks, everyone. Um, um, I'm just going to chime in with one more in the chat. So Bike MS is holding a Martha's Vineyard ride in September, uh, but it's going to be on the mainland this year because of COVID. So September 18th in Concord. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, we should definitely connect with our um, August theme as well. So in August, just to backtrack a little bit, we're going to be promoting a lot of different charity rides, just 
not to highlight one or two, just to kind of remind people that charity rides are one of the ways to bike for a better world. So um, we should, you know, get a running list of all the, the charities. And this is something that we want to do annually as well. So even if, you know, you're forecasting for 22 or beyond, um, we want to know about your charity rides. I think there'll be a number of PMC kids rides in September as well. Um, certainly, I think the one here on the Cape will be, but others across the state as well. Oh. Cool. Um, I'll fly through this one. Um, this is a little bit of getting back to the Mask Move Bike Challenge conversation. We want you to kind of organize locally within your workplace. One of the things that really inspires coworkers to ride is having a bike buddy, having somebody as a resource to help them with routing, with figuring out how to lock, with talking to HR about benefits, things along those lines. Having local teams within a company makes huge, huge impact out there. So the pitch is great to think locally in terms of your bike and ped group, great to think locally in terms of your local commission, but where in your workplace might this fit in? And the easy way is to, well, twofold. One, have your workplace help host an event. You could do a local bike breakfast just for your coworkers. Something very simple. I'm sure that there's a food budget, you know, for, you know, somebody's birthday, they have to buy cake. So why don't you just try to tap into that a little bit? Um, that's, a, that's a very easy and low hanging fruit way, all the way up to working with your workplace and, um, to try to get them to become a bike friendly business. And this is a kind of a whole other conversation that we could have, but one of the things that Mass Bike likes to do is work with workplaces to fill out the League of American Bicyclists work bike friendly business application. Um, and to see if we can actually get designation for workplaces if they check the check boxes that they're supporting riding to work. Um, and that's a whole program from the league. So little, little uh, seeds that can be planted during bike month. Um, we're also gonna ask you to join the Mass Commute Bike Challenge, sorry for the acronym, the Mass Commute Bike Challenge. Um, and that is a way to build a team within your um, company and if your company is part of a transportation management association, that's even better. But even not, you can just do it with your local team um, and try to get your coworkers to be excited about riding because you're racking up the rides, you're racking up the miles, and you're actually kind of building that friendly competition in. So those are two distinct ways to really engage. Um, the third one is to really be a sponsor opportunity. Um, and with that, I'll pass it off to Crystal to kind of dive a little bit deeper. All right. So um, as Galen has mentioned, we have many sponsors who underwrite all the activities going on during bike month from the uh, Mass Commute Bicycle Challenge to the events and all the wonderful swag with the safety items. So um, this is the time of year when we're very busy trying to encourage renewals of everyone who's supported us in the past and, and bring in a whole host of new sponsors as well. So I do have uh, sponsor materials and they also exist on the baystatebikemonth.org website. Uh, it lays out all this small text that you probably can't read on the screen here about all the wonderful benefits that folks will get. Um, and we have opportunities at $500 all the way up to $10,000 and we're always looking for prize sponsors as well. So um, even if someone can't give a financial contribution, if they have something that we can use as a prize to encourage more riders, that's always welcome. Uh, so if anyone is working with a local company or you just have a company in your region that you think would be a great match for us, uh, my contact information is crystal with an H in there at massbike.org. And uh, we do have great recognition on the website, uh, as well as living on the Mass Bike website throughout the year, and lots of social posts from us, as well as the Mass Commute folks who have a list that reaches over 300,000 people. So thank you. Yeah, and if you have any suggestions, maybe you might not have a connection, um, but an idea of a company who might be bike friendly, Crystal's right here is a great go-to. And just for reference, some of our last year sponsors got on the back logos here. Um, so if you wanna get an awesome logo on the back of the shirt, 
Um, we're going to have to get a bigger shirt. Um, <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well this year. Cool. Um, and one of our last slides here is just to remind folks of connecting with local bike groups. Um, we are working statewide here, but admittedly a lot of the work that actually falls into place of Bike Month really takes place in Eastern Massachusetts and we need to change that. We need to make sure that this really is spread statewide so that whether you're riding in Nantucket or whether you're riding in Northampton um, or riding in North Adams, like you are finding Bike Month activities, events, encouragement that is local to you. So um, this is just a reminder for those of us who might be in regions who aren't necessarily as engaged that we're, we're actually asking a lot of you right now to really step it up and help make Bike Month happen in your region. Um, we're, we're gonna have some in Boston, guarantee it. We're gonna have Cambridge, I guarantee it. We're probably gonna have Somerville, no problem. Um, sandwich, sounds great, I appreciate it. Um, but, but where are the places who are not? And we really do also want to focus on the gateway cities as well. So if you're connected with um, one of the cities that really has a lot of ridership, who's not necessarily represented in bike advocacy generally, um, that's also something that Mass Bike wants to step in with. We can help provide resources. We can help provide funding for bike breakfasts. We can really get out there. The goal here is just to make sure that we are impacting statewide. And this is super crucial to the core, going back to one of our original slides, of making sure that we are taking um, stock of where the resources are really allocated for promoting and encouraging bicycling and making sure that they really are going to places that are really impactful. Um, so though you may have really low hanging fruit, which might be easy and I should not dissuade you from hitting those low hanging fruit, um, it also would be nice to also reach out to those who might not yet be engaged and this is a really good way to engage. Great. Um, and then I should also say that we have 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts. I bet your city and town's got a, either an official bike and ped group or an unofficial bike and ped group or both. So if you're not connected with them, now is a really good time to start asking in the start of July, hey, can we plan something for September? And start that wheels to spin now so that we have a good solid six, eight weeks worth of planning to really get this out. Um, Jess and Crystal, anything else to add on this one? Is there a next slide that lists all the gateway cities? There we go. All right. So, um, you know, maybe you live in a particular region that has one of these gateway cities. So if you want to also just think about, you know, would you have a connection that would help be able to facilitate an event in Brockton, Chelsea, Fall River, Fitchburg, Holyoke, Lowell, Malden, New Bedford, Peabody, Pittsfield, Quincy, Salem, Springfield, Taunton, or Worcester. Uh, we'd really just like to make sure that these cities are represented as part of September and we're reaching a really diverse audience. Um, and just in October, there will be some celebrations. So Galen, I think you can probably describe bike bash is better than me since I haven't had a chance to go to one yet, but um, October will be the time to celebrate and then there'll be more monthly challenges. But. Yeah, the idea is um, we're gonna round up bike month probably the second week in October and um, we're still working on the logistics and the funding and all the rest. This is where you can also help out everybody. Um, we wanna host parties. This is all about getting out and getting back together and really having a good time. Um, we would love to pick, I'll go back one slide if I can. Yeah, we'd love to pick you know, maybe not all of these regions, but heck, what if we got a party in every region to really galvanize the regional advocates to come together? Um, yeah, and Colleen, maybe this is a little bit more to your question of how do we really get a chapter moving? You know, part of one of these regions is to have an awesome regional party of everybody who's been participating in Bike Month. And then, boom, there we go. We've got everybody talking. So uh, we are looking for funding for these. We are looking to make these um, at least three or four of them throughout the state. So it's regional. Um, these would be, you know, food, drinks, maybe some bike tricks. Maybe we'll raffle off some stuff. We'll celebrate the winners of the Mass Commute Bike Challenge. Um, we'll encourage people to come and meet. Um, in the past, in Boston, we've done something called the Rush Hour Challenge, where 
you have a walker, a biker, a driver, and a T rider all leave from downtown at the same time. And who can make it to Davis Square first? Um, spoiler alert: the e bike always wins. Um, <laughs> So we may, we may be able to have some rush hour challenges depending on your regionality, um, but you know, ways of getting out and celebrating and encouraging. Cause again, this is what bike month is all about. I think this is our last slide. It um, is indeed our last slide. Um, so yeah, after those bike bashes, we're gonna continue our monthly challenges as I noted before, cause they're so successful. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and we want to hear from you all. So if any comments, questions, ideas, suggestions you have, throw them out to us now, rather in the chat, or uh, you can unmute yourself and chat with us. Um, and like Galen said, we're always available at bike info at massbike.org. Um, send us, send us any, any thoughts. I can start calling people out too. Um, let's see, Doug, what might we be able to get going in bike month and the Newton side of things? We're doing a tour of Newton. So bring it back at post COVID to uh, ride all around Newton. Not quite sure on the routes. We've gone to a couple different versions over the years. Um, initially it used to be a lap all the way around Newton and be able to cover all the different villages. Uh, that was a pretty big ride though. That was over 20 miles, which might be a bit more, more than uh, people could chew off. And if you stop short, you're at a different village and you started, which isn't great either. So uh, we'll see what we end up with this year. Awesome, do you have dates for it? Yes. Uh, I believe it's September 19th. Start a bike week. Love I it. think that's the idea. Well, let me check. Uh, September September 19th. Yes, it is. Awesome. OK, thanks. Let me put you on the spot. Um, let's see. Who else can I call out? Sarah, you came off the video. What, what else can we do down there in Fall River? Sorry, if you just asked me a question, Galen, I just literally had just turned my volume back on. So you'll have to ask again. I'm wondering what else we could do down in Fall River. <laughs> uh, I am, I, I missed the last, I don't know, 10 minutes of what you were talking about. So engagement in gateway cities. Um, I don't know if you saw the, the comment I put in the chat about like doing a resource, uh, 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 um, uh, what do we, a linear park resource fair along the rail trail, maybe trying to get some groups to do, put some booths up on a certain day. That would be cool. Um, boy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just jumped right back in and I'm, I'm kind of lost right now. All right, I'm just putting you on the spot. That's all. I know. It's all right. I, I'll have lot, loads of ideas as soon as we sign off, right? Oh, good. Well, we'll keep in touch then. Okay. Um, Crystal Matapoisa, what can we do on the rail trail, you think? Um, I need to connect with my local friends group. Uh, we have a new section of rail trail that will be opening, although I think that may be October. But um, certainly we have lots of other stretches and or maybe some sort of preview party. Um, so yeah, I, I want to connect. I feel like I bicycle around town, but being newer back in Mattapoisett, I don't know my other bicycle friends. So I would love just like a bicycle breakfast where people who are bicyclists in town all get together because I just want to know, hey, who else is out there and what are the routes that you you take and <laughs> just have like a casual get to know you and um, I've seen some faces commuting to school, just a few of them, but I want an opportunity to to chat all together. Cool. Well, let us know if we can help. Um... Maybe we could help find some funding from like a local company that might want to do supporting of the bike breakfast. Um, 
when we're done with the one pagers, probably in the next week or two, we'll we'll have some suggestions as to um, you know expected costs that some of these things might require as well. Um, back of the envelope, bike breakfast generally run about two hundred or two hundred fifty dollars to do the food giveaways, which is not infeasible for companies to support. If you get a good logo on it and get some good press releases behind it, they might be more than happy to help there. Um, you might need to jump through some hoops about permitting. And of course, everything's gonna be predicated on the fact that we gotta follow COVID guidelines. But um, hopefully by come September, I think we'll be able to actually be able to really host some, some outdoor stands again. But um, we, we look forward to helping you out there, Crystal, set up a bike breakfast in Mattapoisin. Um, maybe this is the last one. Lee, I'm gonna call you out. I know you don't like to be called out. But what can we do on the Neponset Trail in Bike Month? Well, we've already got some advocates putting on uh, weekly rides there. Uh, maybe we can do a better job of promoting that or uh, have a multi-community uh, get together kind of thing on that. So um, we can probably do something with that. We also have uh, uh, local bike clubs having their weekly rides. Maybe we can do a little more cross promotion of that. And of course the uh, uh, mountain bike community has, uh, has events every week too. So maybe we can work these things into the schedule too. Nice. Well, um, would love to be there personally too, because I know you got some good writing. So, um, excellent. All right, I think I filled the whole hour, um, which was my whole plan. Um, I want to thank everyone. And this is going to be definitely an evolving conversation. So we're going to ask you to pay attention, to plug in and to spread the word. Um, I know not everyone, in fact, hardly anyone can make Monday at lunch times on a regular thing in the summer. So I'm appreciative of all your time and all your energy here. And here again, we're around at Mass Bike to help provide some of the back end support to make your event happen. And this is something that we are gonna do annually as well. So this is a continuation of engagement um, and know that we, we are super appreciative of all your local efforts. So um, with that, Jess or Crystal, if there's anything else, Cool. No, nope, yep. Just stay tuned to baystatebikemonth.org. Um, and if anyone has any issues uploading their events, reach out to us at Bike Info. And yeah, we're we're getting pumped. Good. Bike Month's gonna be great. Um, all right, everybody, enjoy your summers and stay cool out there.